Hello everyone. If you haven't noticed, you're watching a video on Nick Bro Inc. here on YouTube, and I'm the F-bomb. It is 2013. It's been 2013, but it is 2013. Steam has changed. Gary's Mod has changed. Gary's Mod has changed a lot. So much so that old solutions no longer work for Gary's Mod. Have you ever played Gary's Mod? If you haven't, I don't know why you're watching this, because the title says Gary's Mod in it. So I don't know why you care. If you have, have you ever had a problem? Have you ever loaded a map and it not had a texture in it? You ever see that purple and black box? Like that one? This? What is this? I have no idea what this is. I loaded my map up. I don't know what this is. I own all the Steam games. They're all installed on my computer. What is this? I can't even interact with this. It's a prop. I can't touch it. I can't move it. It's just on the map. It's built in. I don't know how it works. I've seen errors in this map before that I'm in. I have no idea what's going on. How do I fix this? Well, I'll tell you there's one way to fix it. You gotta get on your computer and do stuff. Seriously, though. All... Let's uh, make sure my microphone's recording. All joking inside. Um... You do need to be on your computer to fix a uh, map error like that. Um, my first suggestion would be just buy all the Source games. You know, Counter-Strike, Source... Mainly, if you're going to be playing Gary's Mod, you should probably have... Counter Someone said the Orange Box and Counter-Strike Source. I think that's a pretty good uh, estimation. Get Counter-Strike Source, definitely. Get Half-Life 2, get Episode 1, and Episode 2. Now, Steam made them all, so that way they were pretty decently priced, and there's sales, so if you don't want to spend like $10 on each game just for Gary's Mod, you can wait. But each game's fun. I have played Counter-Strike Source a lot, and I only got it just for Gary's Mod, which was interesting for me. So, one of the things you need to make sure that, you're, that you have is when you go on Counter-Strike Source, or, or any of these games, any of these things, you got to right-click... You gotta go to properties. You have to go to betas and see if it says Steam Pipe Beta. Now, if it doesn't, it probably isn't a problem. Like Counter Strike Source ha hasn't been a problem for me. Half Life 2 hasn't been a problem for me. Um, Episode 1 was a problem for me. I fixed it today, but I'm still having problems, so I'm hoping we can check it. So you click on t Steam Pipe Beta or you set it to Steam Pipe Beta, then you hit like close, or it might say apply. I'm just going to check this one real quick. And then uh, what I read was launch the game. So, you know, I launched the game, I, I went to the menu, that's it. Um, and then I came back to Gary's Mod. They say the game should update. So if the game didn't update before you launched it or before you go to Gary's Mod, restart your Steam, wait for it to update. It should update, though. It should be one of the first things. Oh, don't set both of these to, to Steam Beta, at the, the Steam Pipe at the same time. One runs off the other one. I think Half-Life Episode 1 runs off of... Uh, I, I mean, I think Episode 2 runs off of a lot of Episode 1. So if you do them both, like, within while they're updating, you might crash your Steam, which isn't a big deal. Because you just shut down your Steam and then restart it. Um, make sure one finishes update updating before you go ahead and update the other, or else you'll crash your Steam. I, I noticed that. It was annoying. Now I'm going to split up the recording. Look at this. I'm going to split it up, because Gary's Mod takes a long time for me to, to uh, launch. So I shall be back. Okay, let's say, you know, your Steam finally loaded. It's been three days. You've been sitting here waiting to make this video. Finally load. You went all to your classes. You had kids. You did all these lovely things. People have <laughs> Seriously, um, okay, so, to reiterate, just buy all the damn Source games. Definitely have Counter-Strike Source, Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, Half-Life 2 Episode 2. The episodes are stretching it, but they're used in a lot of game types now. Um, you know, a while ago it was stretching it. Now, you know, just, just get the games, they're fun. So let's say you have all those. You did the Steam Pipe beta, like I said to before. You gotta click on this remote. Key. I wa it, this is the key thing. I, I was reading through a map today. It looked cool. Someone said, hey, this looks cool. I can't watch it. Someone put this big thing, Steam Pipe Beta. Then all of a sudden, he says, click on the little remote. Make sure these are on. Now, I went 
Now, see, I have Counter-Strike Source already enabled, which is, isn't a problem. It's no surprise. I've never had trouble with Counter-Strike Source uh, things. I know that my problems have been Half-Life 1 and Episode 2. Half-Life 1, Episode 2. Uh, Half-Life... I'm sorry. I know that my problems have been Half-Life 2, Episode 1 and Half-Life 2, Episode 2 textures. I came on today. I clicked on this. A bunch of stuff fixed in the map, which we will go to in a second. I'm going to show you an error. I'm going to come back, I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to see if it worked. I know the Half-Life 1 worked. I don't know about the other one. So, a good map to test this on would be the RP City 8 version 2. Now, it's going to take a while for me to load again, so I'm going to split the recording. So, we'll be back. Alright, five minutes later, we're finally in the game. Just about five. So, this is a really cool map. I like this map. I want to make a Gmod Machinima in this map. Sadly, my frames are garbage, so it's probably not going to happen. I can tell you right now that these little yellow things here, they were from like here to here, they were just purple and black checker textures, much like what I had. But I'm still having problems. Here's an error sign. No idea what that is. Um, I can tell you there were more error signs and more textures mi missing a long time ago. Uh, where are the tunnel? Like, all those! But, I can tell you from installing, this is no longer a bottomless pit. This was a bottomless pit where I could see uh, into space. It was weird. It had its own space stuff. But I still have purple and black textures, right? Um, th this was space. It's now something that I can move and stuff. But what we are going to use for the video, when I find out where the spawn was again, because this map is big... One is over here, right? No? No, yeah. Yeah, okay. I can tell you right now that this, uh, th this black thing, this metal strut, that was a texture error. Pretty sad, right? Because you look at it and you're like, why doesn't Half-Life Half -Life 2 have this? You know, it seems like a pretty... I don't know why it's in, only in Half-Life 1, Episode 1. To test um, my fix, we're going to look at this. Since spawn, since spawn is right down here, this will be easy enough. I do believe this is a Half-Life 2 Episode 2 texture. I could be mistaken. But we are going to find out. So that means I need to disconnect, go to the menu, wait for this to load. So, or I could have clicked on this right now, but now everything's kind of frozen. God damn it. Alright, we'll be back. Alright, we're back. I may have been able to click on this during the video. This is important. Forgot to mention this. This is important. The white, the ones in the white boxes mean I have the game installed. I could turn them on or off. The ones in the folders mean I have the game. I do not have it installed. And the ones with the black X, the red X in it, mean I don't own the game. So these are all the source, the source stuff that games might use. Um, the Gary's Mod games might use. You don't have to have all of it. You really just need Counter-Strike Source and Half-Life 2. You know, other games help. Clearly, Half-Life 2 Episode 1 is very used. So I've clicked on this, on Half-Life 2 Episode 2. It's loading. Nothing big happened when I clicked on Half-Life 2 Episode 1. It just kind of... I clicked on it. And that was it. My my stuff froze a little like it is doing now. Um, and I don't know what this is going to be recorded like. <laughs> but, um... Let's wait and see. I, can't, I could stop the recording, I guess. I think I will. But, do have these games installed. You, which means you need to buy them and install them if you're going to play Gary's Mod. Which might be hard if you have a low hard drive. And just like that, when my recording finally stops, we have a check. So, again, you need these on your hard drive. Which, If you have a small hard drive, that might be a problem. You also should just buy the damn things. If you download them, I don't know what kind of problems that'll be. But, uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what kind of problems you'll have. So, again, now we're going to go in. And we're going to go to RP City 8 version 2. Okay, so here we are back in the game. Let's take a nice V-clip fly over to this wall. 
which is now fixed, which should be included. You know, look at this. You think you could find something like this in in Half Life 2? I guess not. Let's go see if that error down the street's fixed. <gasps> no, it's not. Uh, <laughs> Probably a different source mod. So, how about all those? Oh, ho, ho. all the checkers are gone. That error is still there. It's probably a portal source. Sweet! Everything's fixed. Look at this map. It's beautiful. You just want to just RP in this, don't you? Uh, let's go see if I can fix the thing in my room. Alright. So let's see if this works. You grab your remote, right? You find your games. You check them off. I guess that was the wrong one. And it's a calendar. It's got cats on it. Okay, so let's go over go over what you need to do. First of all, just buy the damn game. Don't be cheap. We at Nick Browing know especially how video game prices and money is a problem. And we bring you videos without ads because we want to show you that we know what money what the money issues are like. So trust us. We know that money sucks. It sucks that games cost money. Just buy the damn things. It'll save you a lot of grief and a lot of stress later on. So, you don't want this in your game anymore? Buy the game. Steam Pipe Beta. It's in the properties. Go into the game. Well, install the game. You know, I don't know if you can do the Steam Pipe properties without installing them. So, Buy the game. Get the Counter Strike Source, Half Life 2, Half Life 2 Episode 1, Half Life 2 Episode 2. If you still have problems, you may need to get some more Source mod, Source games. You really shouldn't have to, though. You really shouldn't even need to Half Life 2 Episode 2. It depends on what you're doing, it depends on where you're playing. Um, so, once you bought the games, install them. Steam Pipe Beta. Um, Open the games. Make sure they update. Don't do it. Don't do it to too mo too many games at once. You'll crash your computer. You crash your Steam. Then go in game. Click on your remote. The wonderful white remote, and make sure they're checked off. That may load. It may look like your Steam's crashed. Just let it load. And then once you're done with that, you should be good. So enjoy your games. Enjoy your free fun. No more air filled games. Look at everything's white. White perfect. You can see everything. Um, so if you enjoyed this silly video, like and favorite, um, you can subscribe if you want, and don't write stupid comments in here, because I see them and I'll delete them. If I see a comment talking about downloading a game somewhere, I'm going to remove it off the channel. Just buy the fucking game. It's so much more convenient. Um, so thank you for watching. I'm the F-Bomb here in the Growing, and have fun on Gmod.